All right, Pokey fam, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're gonna do some learning. So I was just interested in figuring out the likelihood that we pull one of these 25th anniversary holographic Charizards. Obviously my biggest chase card, and I know a chase card of a lot of folks out there. So if you haven't seen yet, this picture has been going around Twitter and some other social medias. But basically you can see here that someone calculated uh, out of 778 packs opening, that the probability to get a Charizard is 1 in 97.3. So basically that means every time you look at a single given card out of a Celebrations pack, the probability that it's a Charizard is 1 out of 97.3. The point of this video is going to be, what's the probability that when you buy a ETB, what is your probability to pull the Charizard. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a step back and talk a little bit of statistics. I'll start off by saying the past four years I've worked as a data scientist um, and then in college also been just, you know, learning probability statistics. So this is kind of my background this is what I do every day for my day job. Um, we're going to talk about the binomial distribution, which basically, if you look here, is a fancy formula that's really easy. Um, the best way to think about it is like the toss of a coin. So this is basically saying out of a certain number of trials, what's the probability that the exact number of successes happens, right? So for flipping a coin, if you say the number of trials is 10, that means I flip a coin 10 times. What's the probability I get exactly five heads, right? And you can use this to calculate that probability. Um, the way we'll be looking at it today is, you know, out of 40 cards, the number of cards that come into Celebrations ETB, what is the probability that I get at least one Charizard, right? So this is kind of, uh, I'll put some links in the description below, but if you're interested in learning more about why this works and how, how everything kind of happens, the Wikipedia page is really good for it. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to hop over to our handy dandy Excel sheet, and I'll also pull this up as well. So again, remember, 1 out of 97.3 is the probability, so we're going to write that here. Probability that the card is a Charizard, right? And that probability is equal to 1 over 97.3, and that's given to us from this data from somebody that kind of pulled out of 778 packs and calculated those probabilities, right? And then a simple result of probability is that the probability that the next card is not a Charizard is simply just one minus the probability that it is, right? So if it's a 1% chance that the next one is a Charizard, that means it's a 99% chance that it's not gonna be. And I'll change these two percentages and I'll also scoot the decimal over a bit just so you can kind of see um, a little better. All right, so this kind of makes sense, right? Um, so the binomial distribution, we're gonna say, so then we wanna say the number of trials, which is, if we go back to our thing here, we see the number of trials is N, and we're going to look at 40 cards, right? So really the number of trials here, for our example, is just the number number of cards, right? And we want to get the number of successes. So that's our X variable, and we're going to say 1. Um, and I'll actually change the wording here. Charizards. All right. Okay. So if we go back to our handy dandy formula, what we're looking at is this is a combination. So n choose x. So basically we can say um, n choose x, which is just a math function to say, and in Excel it's just combine. So you can see number and then number chosen. So it's n, which is here, choose x. Right, and it's 40 just because of the way the property works out. If I was to change this to 2, it would change, right? 3, it would change a little bit too. But we'll keep it at 1 for now, um, and I'll explain why. Uh, and then, so n choose x, so that's our first part. And then the next one is the probability of a success, right? So the probability of success is just the probability that the card is a Charizard, so that's that. Um, and then q is the probability of failure. So we're saying the probability that card is not a Charizard is a failure. Right, so then the probability that you get one Charizard, let's change it to the probability you get X Charizards, 
in n cards is simply if we follow this formula, right? It's the combination times the probability raised to the x, and then the probability of failure times n minus x. So all we got to do is say it equals our n choose x, and we're multiplying that by the probability of success to the power of the successes, right? So p to the x, so this is p to the x, and times our probability of failure raised to the power of n minus x, right? So if we look at that, and we do a percentage, then that means the probability that we get exactly one Charizard out of 40 cards turns out to be just over 20%. But we're going to take it a step further because the thing here is there's a chance we can get more than that. So the idea is, right, say out of 40 cards, we wanted to say, well, how, well how, what's the likelihood we get exactly two Charizards, right? And that's 5%. It's a little less likely. What about three, right? Not even 1%. What if we were to just put it as, you know, 10? Is it even possible to get 10? It's 0 0.000, and I'm sure if you keep expanding this, like, right, 0 0.000008, right? And we're just going to keep it at 1 just for the sake of showing what happens with this distribution. Um, but the way to think about it as well is the probability that you get at least one Charizard, right? So the probability that you get at least one is the same thing as going back to our basic idea it's the same thing as the is 100 percent minus the probability you get zero right so think about that for a sec because there's a hundred percent chance that things happen and the probability that you get exactly zero cards is something so that means the probability you get at least one or more is 100% minus the probability that you get zero Charizards, right? So what we're gonna do here, I'm just gonna delete this for sake of space. We're gonna calculate what would happen if we wanted to get zero Charizard. So out of 40, what's the probability we get exactly zero? And it's a 66% chance, right? So now we're going to change that to the probability we get zero Charizards in those cards. So that means the probability that you get at least one Charizard is one minus this, which is 33%. Another way to think about this is the probability that you don't get zero Charizards, right? So it's a little more than the 27 initially, right? Because there is a possibility that you get one, two, three, four, five, and technically there's even probability you get 10. There's probability that you get, you know, 12. Uh, obviously there's some assumptions in there that, you know, they're not going to put two Charizards in one pack. So there's some assumptions here that you got to think about. Um, but the probability you get at least one is roughly 33%, which is actually not bad. That's a one in three chance based again, solely based on this data point that is circulating social media right now, right? So uh, the other cool part of this is if you wanted to see like what's the probability, so we'll, we'll go ahead and box this up so you can see it. And we will also highlight it and put all borders. All right, so that's our big thing here. We'll make it 20 size font, all right? And then the cool part about Excel is you can change the inputs here. So what would be the case if there was 100 cards, right? Then there's a 64% chance that you pull a Charizard out of that uh, 100 cards. So I think the Ultra Premium Collection is supposed to have, uh, I think, 16, 16 packs of four cards. So if we say 16 times four, whatever that number is, 64, right? There's just under a 50% chance you pull a Charizard, which is still extremely low, right? It's less than flipping a coin. Um, uh, let's see what would happen, what number we need to get to to get above 50. So if it was like, let's try 80. 80 cards, two ETBs, you have a 56% chance of pulling a Charizard. Um, 
let's see what would be 70. Is that right at 50? So 65, 66, 67, 68. So basically, if you get 68 cards, there's a roughly coin flip that you're going to pull at least one Charizard, right? Um, and we can also see in the single pack of Celebrations, which comes with four cards, your probability of pulling at least one Charizard is 4%, right? So let's go back to just a standard ETB with 10 packs, right? Um, let's change this to just any Pokemon, right? So if I go back to this, we can see, for example, like the Mew here, Secret Rare Mew. It's 1 out of 129.7. So if I type equals 1 out of 129.7, hit enter, everything's going to change. So now, out of your ETB, you have only a 26% chance of pulling that rare Secret Rare Mew. At least one of them is what I'm saying. I'll change the word in here. So if you're interested in this kind of stuff, make sure to subscribe or let me know in the comments. I've only done like pack openings and stuff, um, but I really find this stuff interesting. I also like try to been building some scrapers and um, some code to kind of analyze pricing of cards and things like that. So if any of that stuff interests you, make sure to let me know and I'll make sure to put more content out like this because it's really fun to do. And I wish you all the best of luck with your celebrations chases. I hope you guys can all pull the cards you want, and I'm really excited about this set. It's been super fun opening so far. More content to come. Stay tuned. Thank you, and as always, cheers.